Now put your left foot in, take your left foot out. You'll be right beside the <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> yeah, beside the smiley face, uh, there is a just big black arrow that that when I press it, nothing happens. No, before the big black arrow, come back over to the left. There's three little dots. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And I was welcome back, Pat's beautiful voice. You put your left foot in the foot right. Let's do that. Oh, that's all hokey pokey. I know. Yeah. That's hokey pokey. We have to figure out a way to do that on Zoom. And how's Lady Rose from Florida? Lady Rose is doing great, thank you. And so great to be among the other roses and thorns. <laughs> Who's who? <laughs> oh. Ah, Lisa, you are not here. You have to let Pat or Stephen or John or somebody else tell you. I'm not going to say a word. <laughs> Sorry? What did you say, Peter? Is that because you might incriminate yourself? Yes, yes. I take the fifth. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good, Good morning, Mr. Pat. Good morning, Patrick. Hi, how are you? Good. And look who's joined us. Oh, Linda smokes. Sheldrake. See, the roses are popping out. They are. We're yes, getting they are. Hey. I guess it's not that many Aussies joining here. Eh? No one from Sydney? Um, I don't know. John, no, John from Brisbane. Brenda, hello, nice to see you. Hey. All right. No, but I don't know, Karen. Anyone else? No, no one else from Sydney here, I don't think. They're either from Brisbane, USA. Um, Zealand. New Zealand, yeah. yeah. It's about two o'clock in the morning for Mark Engstar. <laughs> not anymore. It's only it's midnight. We've lost two hours since I started with you. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, it's it's quite quite tame now. <laughs> oh, <I've had> <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, look, we'll get started. If others join us, so be it as we go along. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode one hundred seven of your next level mastermind. Our topic for this evening is called "How do you want to be remembered?" Okay. I thought that might be an interesting little topic we can talk about how you want to be remembered but before we do that we've got people here those who are watching the recording we've got people here who have shared their valuable time to contribute towards the topic of how you want to be remembered plus they are there to provide you with some options in your life your lifestyle and your business and I would strongly recommend you reach out to each and every one of them. And not just to say hello, as I've said so many times, but to actually talk with them and find out what they're all about, because they may have an opportunity for you that you had not thought about before. Okay. And they and they may know and they will know people that you don't know. And more importantly than anything else, more important than anything else is the fact that they could be just the person you're looking for okay? and you haven't realized it before so please take the opportunity everyone who was here but more important those who are watching on the replay please take the opportunity to reach out to every one of these people their links will underneath and be underneath the video they are already willing and able and delighted to be of help to you and they are all extremely capable in what they do so with that little bit out of the road and please make sure everybody you put your links in the chat so we can I can make sure I get them mostly right. My typing isn't the greatest thing in the world these, these days. But let's start the session off. We start with you, Pat, Pat Dreyer, followed by um, Karen, because you haven't got much time with us. So, Pat, how about you to start with? Sounds like a winner to me. Thank you, Peter. Hello, everybody. I'm Pat Dreyer, and I'm in Phoenix, Arizona in the United States. And I'm in network marketing with a company called My Daily Choice. Now, network marketing, in my opinion, is the most incredible business. It's the uh, uh, best way to start a home business, attain freedom, own your life, all those wonderful things. And so what do I do? I show people how to make money. 
And I show them how to make money using network marketing as the vehicle. Uh, it's really just a business in a box. And we have a system. It's so simple that anybody can do it. It doesn't require selling. And the best part is it won't take much of your time. There's really just three simple steps. And once you learn these skills, you'll never have to work for someone else ever again. The only thing required, as with anything, is desire and commitment. And if you're interested, I can get you some information. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much, Pat. Especially seeing it's five o'clock in the morning. Five o'clock in the morning for you, is that right? Five a.m. Wow. Yeah. I can never do yeah, it. Yeah, it's early. <laughs> it's early. It's still dark. It'll the sun will start coming up about five o'clock here, another month <laughs> or so. Karen, <laughs> over to you. Followed by John Moss. How about that, John? Karen first. Hi, um, I'm a photographer who specializes in capturing headshots and personal branding images, you know, for your LinkedIn websites and other socials. So I'm based in Sydney, so I'm especially interested in, you know, reaching out and connecting with people who are, are coaches or personal branding experts or just anyone, you know, who um, uses a lot of uh, personal branding photos on their um, channels. So I'd love to hear from you, you know, if you're um, interested. So let's connect. So I'll put my details in the chat below and let's take it from there. Thanks, Karen. Thank you very much. And it's great to have you join us because now it's late in the evening for you. Okay. And Peter. Hey, and, Karen's yeah. got an absolutely gorgeous website. And if you're looking for some posters uh, of Australia, uh, she's got some great stuff on her site. There you go, Karen. How about that? It didn't cost you a cent for that bit of promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Well done. Okay, John. John Moss. Lovely to see you again, my man. You followed, too, Peter. Followed by Lisa McClellan. Okay, I wasn't expecting to have to deliver an elevator pitch. Um, and no, I've been no, pretty much... <laughs> <laughs> I've been pretty much out of the... Uh, the the internet game for some time now and um, kept in touch with Peter, which is lovely. Um, but recently I've updated a few of the websites that I've previously created for um, businesses and um, uh, performers around Brisbane. I've been fortunate enough to link up with a, a manager of artists and, and bands and um, I've created a few websites for them. So if you need any assistance with them, um, with websites and uh, it's within my capabilities, then I would love to talk to you. Thank you, John. Thank you very much indeed. And thank you for sharing your time. I really appreciate that. Okay, Lisa, Lisa McClellan, followed by John Allen. Hello, everyone. Good morning for me anyway. Um, I'm Lisa. I am from uh, close to Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, and I am a recovering people pleaser, a nurse, psychotherapist, massage therapist, uh, previous fitness champ and previous fitness model. So I help people pleasers get control back of their body, emotions, and boundaries by learning how to not only confidently say no uh, to the unimportant parts of life, but to feel good enough to start saying yes to themselves to finally feel good enough to take more me time guilt-free. So um, I believe that we teach people how to treat us. Uh, and so Really, how do you want to be treated? Um, that's all. <laughs> Let's all be guilt free, Lisa. Hey, I like that's that. Right. I like yeah, that. why not? It makes why life not? fun. Life's too damn tough as it is. So I agree. Okay, John. John Allen, followed by Yvonne Jones. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in this great, big, beautiful world. I'm John D. Allen of Allen Small Business Coaching. My passion is helping business coaches cut down their LOR or loss of revenue from conversions that they're not, you know, they're leaving on the table. You say they get two out of 10, may be able to help you get four out of 10 or six out of 10. You'll be surprised at how much that can really enhance your revenue and your, your income. Am I the right person for everyone? Not a chance. But what I'd love to do is talk to you to see whether there's a way I can help you possibly solve your problems. I believe in using comfortable conversations that give everyone involved a memorable moment. So 
My details are in the bottom. Look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks, Peter. Thank you very much, John. Thank you very much indeed. And please, for those who are watching, reach out to John. He's been around nearly as long as me, and he knows a lot more about marketing than I ever will. So thank you. Yvonne, Yvonne Jones, followed by Stephen Henry. Thank you, Peter. And I love those alliterations, John. Hello, everyone. I am the Florida Rose from Central Florida, <laughs> <laughs> about 40 miles south of Disney World. <laughs> and uh, my website is 50andwisercoaching.com. Yeah. I am Yvonne A. Jones. And I love, my passion is working with mature female entrepreneurs, especially leaders, in fact, B2B uh, female professionals, basically to help them grow their business, create a bigger impact by the strong relationships that they build with their network, with their peers, with their clients, their customers, and also helping them to establish themselves so they get recognized in whatever field they're in by their communication skills, by not being aggressive, but learning to speak up for themselves. So that's what I do. And I don't know what else to say this morning, Peter. For some reason, I'm just tongue-tied. But I, I'm glad I'm here. Well, I'm glad you're here, too. And why don't you share the story why you call the Queen of the Roses? Come on. Well, okay. <laughs> we'll all believe you, I promise you. Well, this part is really, really factual. I was on a call one morning. I was the only female for a while. And I made a comment, someone made a comment that I was the thorn, the rose among the thorns. And I tried to turn that around and assure the gentlemen they were wonderful too, because the thornier the rose was, the sweeter it smelled. Well, that's really not true. <laughs> that was something I made up. And they found me out real quickly. <laughs> And actually, it was John Allen that actually said those words, if I remember correctly. Is that right, John? Yeah. Oh, God. But it's great. a great story. Okay? I mean, if it, the more thorns are sweeter the rose, that sounds pretty good to me. Lisa thought it was true. <laughs> All righty. Well, I it did. looks like we've lost um, Stephen for the moment. So, Monica, what about you? Monica, lovely to see you, followed by Jeff Veal. Oh, I didn't expect that. Hello, everyone. My name is Monica Periade, and I am the founder of a beautiful concept called Coach Coaching Lives to Personal Success and the creator of also a beautiful uh, concept called Anatomy of Happiness. What do I do? I help people feel better about themselves. But how do I do that? I'm on a mission to help people overcome self-doubt, limiting beliefs, and anxiety. And I realize and I find out that lots of people, millions of people, they deal with that through childhood trauma and various other reasons that I don't want to take the time to, um, to list here. So in my personal experience, I learned to overcome those challenges and I learned coaching and various techniques that help people to feel better about themselves and be uh, work at best to what they have. So today I help individuals from various walks of life. So I can't really say I help only uh, professional people or uh, I can leave someone behind, but including corporate professional co um, entrepreneurs, LGTQ, I don't know yet how to uh, uh, really correctly spell this, individuals, and anyone struggling with self-love, self-esteem, toxicity, uh, uh, toxic workspaces. Anyway, so to not take from everybody, everyone else time, um, this is me, and I look forward to connect with anyone that wants to get uh, to feel better and uh, lead with more, um, more self-confidence. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Monica. By the way, just in case you missed it, have a check on, on YouTube for a video called Employee Teaches Boss a Lesson. You might find it of interest for everybody here. Okay, You might find it of interest in terms of it's a really good icebreaker in a conversation you're having if you're talking to an employer. Okay? 
All right, Jeff, Jeff Beal, followed by Brenda. Saw that one, Peter. It was quite a good story, actually, wasn't it? Yeah. I liked, I liked it. I, I, was, I was trying to work. I now I know where to find it. I, I was going to steal it, but I didn't, know, I didn't know how to steal it. Now I know how to steal it. I'll, I'll grab it. Um, guys, my name is Jeff Veal, um, the business guru from the Philippines, I'm commonly known as a mass marketer. Why the mass marketer? Think about it, guys. Most of you know the mass magician. He teaches all the tricks that magicians don't want you to know, like sewing the woman in the halves and all that type of stuff. Well, I teach you all about business and all about marketing. And on my um, Facebook group, you'll find over $15,000 worth of free, that's right, free resources the other guys want to charge you thousands of dollars for. So I put my link in the chat there, guys. If you're clever, you'll go and join up and you'll spend the weekend with a cup of coffee going through the different things that you can learn one by one by one by one. If you like most people, you'll do nothing. But that's a bit sad because the resources are there for you. That's for me, guys. All the best. Thank you, Jeffrey. As always, thank you. Brenda, lovely to see you. Followed by Ashford. Hello, everybody. My name is Brenda Marie Sheldrake. I'm in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, and I am the Biz Leads Expert at Biz Leads Expert. I help busy entrepreneurs to stay in business no matter what the challenges that they face. So we've, we've all had challenges throughout our career as entrepreneurs. And if you're anything like me, then occasionally one of those challenges will pop up that makes you wonder whether you're in the right place. I wanna assure you that if you're an entrepreneur, you are in the right place. And I wanna help you to stay in business. Don't quit my message. Don't quit before your miracle happens. Wow, I love that finish. Thank you, Brenda. That was really good. Thank you well, very yeah. much. Well done. Okay. Ashvin, followed by Joy Healy. Hello, everybody. Hello, Jeff, Brenda, John. I hope everybody is doing good. Uh, I My name is Akshin Nuhi from Richmond Hill, Ontario. I have as much as small businesses to grow their business. And the question I have today for them is that, are your clients slipping through your fingers? It happens to all of us. We take the return of our clients to use our services for granted. And I mean, it's like uh, 12 times more expensive to get a new client. So if you want to find out how to keep existing clients, please email me at afshinnuhi at gmail.com or call me 416-722-7772. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ashvin. You're welcome. Okay, Joy, Joy Healy, followed by Santa Claus himself. Hello, I'm Joy Healy from Norwich in the United Kingdom. Um, I help people 50 and over without sufficient income plans for a comfortable retirement. And I help them uh, supplement their income with an online business. The problems that people may face when wanting to start a retirement income are lack of technical expertise, as demonstrated by my <laughs> problems getting onto this call, uh, lack of time, lack of money, and not being a salesperson. I can help solve these problems in the community to which I belong where you can make regular commissions from small to large. And if you prefer, your high ticket sales are made for you by a professional. The link to the services I promote are in the chat. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you, Joy. And I'm glad we got the times right this week, right? I mean, I am <laughs> yes, really yes, an expert. that was the other one. <laughs> I'm an expert on time zones. I absolutely <laughs> muck them up every single damn time. Uh, sorry, Easy, okay, Santa Claus, Anthony Paselli, followed by. <laughs> bear with me, Dick. Followed by <laughs> Alpha. Nice to see you, Alpha Freeman. Okay, Anthony first. Oh, 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 well, hello everyone. Oh, it's so good to be here. Good to see everyone. Thank you, Peter, for everything that you do. I tell you, um, you know, things are things are pretty, 
really, really good down here in Florida while I'm on vacation, you know, getting all this time on. But one of the things that I want to do is I, I want to set up visits with Santa all year round. Why not? Why wait just, just one time a year? So why not every, every month? You know, why not every day have, you know, Christmas should be celebrated every day. So who do you know that would love a visit from Santa? What I'm trying to do is I'm co coordinating the visits via Zoom, you know, 15 and 30 minute sessions. Oh, private within the privacy of your own home. So who do you know that has a youngster, a niece, a nephew or a grandchild that could use a mid-year check-in, a birthday greeting, or even how about a special message from Santa for, hey, Bob, great job on the on great work today at the job. Oh, you did you, spectacular uh, this week um, or this month. Oh, the sales are up. Wow, that's great. You know that I, I love I love helping people. I love talking with people and meeting with them. You know, I work with kids from one to 92. <laughs> and another thing I like to do is I love helping people get together. You know, do you have that special someone that's, that, that you want to spend the rest of your life with? I would love to help you get that message out there and lo love to help you meet, get that moment together and make it even more special. <laughs> well, my information, contact information is in the chat box here. Another thing that Santa does is I do voiceover work. You know, I have over a decade and a half of voiceover experience. You know, I work with web, vo web video producers, instructional designers, audio producers to create friendly and engaging, trustworthy training videos and web explainer videos. I also do voicemails and on hold messages. Oh, I tell you, there is nothing more than more joyful for me than using my voice to, to bring out the best in, in what you have to offer. I love being the voice behind your message. So if you, for more information, all of that information is in the chat box as well. So please, I look forward to talking with everyone. Thank you, Anthony. And with your permission, I want to say something. Is that okay? Please. <laughs> um, I'm not sure, maybe a week ago. We, I'm not sure now. But Anthony created a little video for five kids in our little Thai village, right? And he, he actually named them, okay? That video has gone viral, right? <laughs> Every kid in the village has seen this darn video. But more important than that, only one, that's my granddaughter, can understand all the words that Anthony's using, but it doesn't matter. They listen for their name. And when they hear the name, yes! <laughs> so that's first of all the the connectivity, Anthony, across languages is important because of the passion yes. and the fact that you use someone's name. And secondly, which which I know you also know because I shared it with you, what is really funny is that my daughter granddaughter stops the video and then translate what Anthony says from English <laughs> to Thai in her own, puts her own spin on it, right? And sits back and says, God, I'm smart, aren't I, right? <laughs> uh, I just want to say thank you. That's you fantastic. Went, you went outside the, the normal realms, and I want to say thank you personally for giving the kids in our village a really memorable moment. Thank you very much indeed. Well, that, that's what I live for. I live for that kind of joy, spreading that joy with all the children of the world. That's, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Alpha, when you're ready, Alpha Freeman. Hi, Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Alpha Freeman. I'm currently located here in Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, I specialize in the skincare industry, uh, particularly in the formulation of skincare product. Currently, I'm doing research and development with the skincare as a whole. Most importantly, the product that I just recently just take on is the show called Next Generation of Business Talk. Um, the idea of that is basically connecting the old and the new generation. And I'm looking to bring anyone into the show and talking, to, talking about your experience and what you have to offer, or what advice you have for the new generation or for the old generation, and things of that nature. Um, I'll also post a link on the chat box here in a quick second. I just to give an idea of how things are working. I recently interviewed uh, Mr. Pat and also John along the way, but currently I'm looking for more people to join the show and just get there out there, um, get their experience out there and also their knowledge and, um, and wisdom. Again, I'm Alpha Freeman, the skincare guy and the talk show host. Thank you guys. Thank you, Alpha. And would you please make sure you put your YouTube link in the, in the chat? I had the pleasure of watching both Pat Dry and John Allen's interview and it was uh, you're really good guys. Really, really good. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. 
Okay, Pat Kearns, my man. Where are you? How are you? And what do you do? Good morning, everybody here in the internet world. My name is Patrick Kern. I am presently in the beautiful state of Florida at Schooner Haven. And it's great. The other day, this is to you, Yvonne. I, the, yesterday, matter of fact, I was riding up to this town and I passed some rose bushes. I had to stop and went, wow, there's Yvonne. <laughs> I just had to say, it's pretty cool. I had to get off the bike because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> oh, my. You'll never live it down, Ava. I so won't. anyway, anyway, I'm a affiliate marketer, and I work for a fantastic, I mean, a fantastic marketing company called Miley Choice. And this company is about ready to different world. Because the marketing scheme that Josh Swagel, the CEO, is doing and what he's doing is going to blow people away. It's going to change everybody's way how they do marketing. And it's going to be a fantastic thing. And I'm looking for people who want to jump on this rocket ship with me and take off to another planet because it will. It will change your world. And another thing coming up this month is 420. If you know what 420 is, it's the biggest sell of the year. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pat. Thank you very much indeed. Before we go to the topic, I've just got some apologies here from Janet Paselli, who's full-time flat out working. Bonnie Rose, who's had some problems with the children, the children and the boys. I hope they get better soon. Carol Davies is not very well at all. Neither is Andrew Kavanagh, by the way. He's already in bed in Brisbane. One person that you haven't had the pleasure to meet yet is called Martina Simakova. She's going to join us very soon, but unfortunately, she couldn't make it today. Okay? Trisha Gosh is another person who's a, a new member of our community, and she messaged me saying she was going to try and get here, but unfortunately, she couldn't make it. If you've been on Facebook for any length of time, you probably would have heard and seen Trisha Goss. She is truly good at what she does. Really good. And finally, of course, Penny Candy. She couldn't make it. Okay, here's our topic. How do you want to be remembered? All right. So let me take you in the order that you put your hands up. If you go to the bottom of the screen, you can click the reactions tab there. And it says raise hand. And if you raise your hand, then I will take you in the order of the raised hands. Okay. So how do you want to be remembered? All right. John Allen, I don't know what it is. You're quick off the mark, mate, but you're always first. Over to you. John, how do you want to be remembered, mate? Basically, I, I want to be remembered as a loving father, grandfather, son, brother, you know, Someone who cares not only about my family, but all humanity. I want people to have the best life that they could possibly have. And we're all here for a short time, not a long time. Get the most out of your life. Don't live it like a, a doorknob hiding under a stump. Get out there and really enjoy it. Because, you know, there is no replace. You can't do it again. Get out there and enjoy life. Life is too precious. To just sit there and waste it. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, John. Make the most of every single day, right? That's your message. Don't miss a beat. Mm. I can relate to that very much indeed. <laughs> and, you know, don't sweat the small stuff. It's all small stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, to me, when you were sharing how you ought to be remembered, it's but is as a person that is, if I'm correct in interpreting what you're really saying, is that a, it's a person that appreciates the opportunity to meet with people who value every day like you do. Yep. Yeah. No, life is too precious just to waste. Mm. Okay. Good. Good. Thanks, John. Pat, Pat Dry. How do I want to be remembered? Yeah. With a smile. <laughs> only good memories yeah only good memories and lots of individual stories tell me more like that's it that's it that's good for me 
Just with a smile. With a smile. Good memories, yeah. Yeah. Which, <clears throat> and the smile indicates that you have created a, a really good memory for someone and many people in your life. That's what it's all about, right? Uh, somehow I've enriched their life and uh, they all have a different story, but uh, it's all a good one. What a beautiful way. I love that. That's good. It's so easily expressed. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. Joy. Um, well, when I saw the topic, the first word that came into my mind, so I've got to go with it, <laughs> is uh, I want to be remembered as useful. <laughs> um, also... Um, obviously, as uh, as John said, I want to be remembered as a loving family member. And the thing that I'm most proud of in my life is that I, I'm sure other people have done this, but I gave 50 blood donations. So hopefully that's helped up to 50 people. So those are the things I'd like to be remembered for. Thanks, Peter. Well done, Joy. And if you've given blood donations, then you definitely were useful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no doubt about that. Thought so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Brenda, Brenda Sheldrake, lovely to see you too. It's great to be here today, Peter. And it's it's interesting. You The topics you pick always seem to tug at my heartstrings. And... I have to say that when I saw today's topic, it brought back another story of my dad. And that's another reason why I love coming here is because it always gives me an opportunity to, to remember dad fondly and share story, stories of him. And just recently, I learned of another story of my dad. My sister, I've, I've been working on my business and I've experienced some challenges over the last year. There's been a few setbacks. There's been a few bumps in the road. And my sister said to me, just before dad passed away, he told me that you were going to change the world. And I said, change the world? Well, how on <laughs> earth? What, what, what could I possibly give that would change the world? What could I possibly do that would change the world? And she said, I, I don't know, because I don't really understand enough about what you do, but that's that's what daddy said. And the interesting thing was that daddy didn't understand what I did either. He used to say to me, why you sit in that room talking to that computer all day long? I don't know why you talk to a computer. Why don't you talk to real people? And I tried to explain to him that I was talking to real people when I was on the computer. But today, I know how I'm going to change the world. I may not change the whole world, but I'm going to change the world one person at a time, the world of entrepreneurs. And I'm going to change, as I said in the beginning, by making sure that if we get together, you won't quit before your miracle happens. Love it. Love it, Brenda. Thank you very much indeed. And I'm glad we bring back lovely memories of your dad. That is lovely. Before we go any further, I have a public apology to make. And it's to you, Mark Inkstar, because I forgot to ask you to talk about what you do. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine, I mate. blew it. I blew it. That's I didn't mean to. Please accept it. I was happy you wouldn't even realise. No. no Mark good. Inkstar, what do you do? Come on, share with us. And I'm really sorry, mate. It was definitely not planned. I'm uh, the Wealth Making Opportunities Consultant from New Zealand and uh, founder of the Strangers Group. It's a social enterprise. Strangers Communities are not for profit. And uh, I, yeah, I also help people to make residual income. Um, great platforms for them to sell their services, their products on. Um, yeah, and enjoy working with my charity, helping people. That's what I do. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. And again, my apologies for overlooking. Oh, Goodness gracious you. me, I'm ticking all these people off, off like an old school teacher and I missed you. So I'm uh, sorry. Uh, okay, Lisa, Lisa McClellan, how would you like to be remembered? 
Well, I really want to be remembered for, and I think I already live up to this, someone who laughs a lot. I really enjoy laughing um, and remembered for someone who enjoys life because sometimes my you know, thought process can stifle that. So I'd like to be able to enjoy life a little bit more and then give that to the world. Uh, I'd like to make an impact on the world, um, you know, one person at a time, but then in a, a large scale as well. And I'd like for people to, to be able to say, oh, that Lisa, she helped me with fill in the blank, hopefully something related to body or posture or people pleasing. <laughs> um, and I also want to be a good teacher. I want to be remembered for someone who um, walks the talk. So not only talks the talk, but walks the talk and leads by example. Thanks, Lisa. And and I, I would encourage you to reach out and connect with Brenda. Because she, yeah. like you, wants to improve the world one person at a time as well. And I think you get on very well together, both of you. So I think so, yeah. too. Yvonne, Yvonne Jones. Hi, Peter. Okay, when I saw this, I thought of two things. I want to remember it as and remember um, remember for. And I kind of got this idea of when you asked that question, because during COVID, I attended so many memorial services on Zoom, a lot, all over the world, because we were all tied in by Zoom. And as I listened to what people, you know, what was said about people, I can remember the things that resonated with me and the things that I thought to myself, yeah, I do want to be remembered for that. But to, to be known as, I know many of you don't know, a couple of you may know, I want to be known or I am known as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, a wife of, oh my goodness, this year it will be 48 years. Can you believe it? And I'm only 39. Um, <laughs> uh, mother of three beautiful daughters, are all married and three, Nana to three children, three little ones. To be known for kindness, loving people, compassionate, which is a little bit, it's a mix of kind, seeing something to be done and helping where I, where I can. So that's compassion and being known as a teacher. It's my, it was my dream when I was three years old to be a teacher. It continued throughout my life. And someone just said to me, just on Saturday, he took me aside and he said, why aren't you teaching? You are an amazing teacher. And I explained to him that, yes, I do teach. I didn't teach children, but now I teach adults. Mm -hmm. And I taught my own children and others informally. So those are the things that I would like to be remembered for. Among them, my, my line for all of that is love never fails because sometimes you need to show more love to people who may not respond in kind. But I have found if you're persistent, it overcomes barriers. Wow, Yvonne. Thank Beautiful. You. Beautifully said. What a wonderful message. Thank you so very much indeed. Monica. Monica Periati. Nice to see you. Thank you, Peter. How can I go after Yvonne? That's challenging. <laughs> Top end. <laughs> Challenge. Thank you, Yvonne. And thank you, everyone. Well, uh, I would like to be remembered as uh, the women with the voice that um, creates a lot of awareness about uh, self-love and spreading some more love to uh, around them. But... Um, Anyway, for me, it's not about remembering solely about myself, but about the impact I've made by inspiring people to live more meaningful lives and about um, being an influencer of great value and inclusion. So like I like to say, uh, be the God uh, you are praying God. So being more understanding. So I want to promote that and... Um, safety for children and protecting the environment of our planet also for ourselves and for the generations to come 
there is a lot of things I want to be remembered but for, but I think um, what I just said covered pretty much uh, all, and I would like not to take so much time of uh, everyone. But in conclusion, um, I'm, I would love to be able to convey messages like that and also to promote um, inclusion and uh, supporting one another and um, supporting without the thinking of gaining something necessarily. So again, I will repeat myself, be the God you are praying God. Uh, so thank you very much. Thank you, Monica. Well done. Thank you very much indeed. Mark, Mark Engstar, what do you want to be remembered? Well, I was trying to get out of here without being remembered before, but um, <laughs> like... <laughs> I want to. I want to create gotcha, a legacy. We got gotcha, you. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, with, with my charity and what I'm doing, I want to lift the vibration of the planet. I want to um, get the masses uh, change their thinking, raise their level of uh, awareness and the way they vibrate and uh, the way they go about lives. And uh, yeah, just leave something behind. Uh, my what. Like even today, I touched out and um, connected with several charities and um, started uh, working with them today as well. So I just feel that it's going to keep growing and growing. And um, yeah, just the, the things that we're setting up, the things that are, people I can put in together, the um, organisations and everything, that's what I'm aiming to do. And uh so I plan to stick around for a while because I've got a big job. So, Good. Yeah. Good. I hope to keep you around for a long time. Well done, Mark. Thank you. And I remember what you said, Brenda, something about um, don't quit before your first miracle happens. Is that hey? I think I got it right. Okay. What a great yes. message that is. Well done. I love that. John Moss, before you go to sleep on me in Brisbane over there, what do you want to be remembered for, my man? Okay. I had a little think about this before I joined the call, and it's it's absolutely nothing business related. It's it's just to be remembered as a, a caring person, obviously for my family. Um, and I've come across a lot of lovely people since I've been in Australia for five and a half years now, coming on to six years, and I just hope that I've. Um, I've left a, a positive impact on their lives and they remind, remember me as somebody who is always delivering terrible puns um, mm. and making people laugh, um, whether intentionally or unintentionally. <laughs> um, but the, the memory of me to put a smile on somebody's face in the right way. <laughs> Good. Sounds like you've been talking with Pat Dry. There you go. <laughs> yeah. But it's sometimes the most simple things are the most powerful things, aren't they? When you think about it. And putting a smile on somebody's face, it reminds me of you as well, Santa Claus. So okay. Absolutely. Alpha, what about you, my man? What do you want to be remembered for? What I want to be remembered, um, particularly, is just to have a kind heart. And it's as simple as that, you know, just helping out the next person or anyone whatsoever. Um, like John said earlier, our time in this world is temporary. So in the meantime, be nice and be kind to everyone you meet. So I just want to be remembered as a simple guy with a kind heart. That's about it. Wow. Wow. Good. Thank you, Alpha. And did you're Brenda, welcome. I saw your comment there. You'd like to have a topic called what? we see as our first miracle as we come in. Yep. Well, Alpha, sorry, could you just mute for a moment? There's a bit of background noise here. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Brenda, did you, you were suggesting you'd like to have a topic about um, the first miracle as an entrepreneur, is that correct? Yes, I would, I, if I could suggest a topic for a future one of these sessions, I would love to hear from all of these amazing people what they see as their first miracle in their career. Okay. 
I'm just writing this down. Okay, thanks, Brenda, very much indeed. All right, and thank you, Alpha, very much also for sharing. Apologies for the noise in the background there, of course. All righty, Jeff Veal, what do you want to be remembered for? Uh, Peter, I want to be like Frank Sinatra. I want to be remembered for doing it my way. Um, <laughs> you guys that know me know I'm the the black sheep of the family. I don't fit this. I don't fit the norm. I've never been brainwashed. I don't watch TV or listen to radio. Only way to fix COVID is turn the TV off. Um, guys, I like to teach people. I'm a, I'm a joker, and I've always had a good time. One of the things I used to tell myself when I was younger was this. Nothing happens if you stay home. So go out. And I used to go out every night. And I had some I had, I had some adventures, guys. You, you'd think they were science fiction. Because I was out every night. When you're out, things happen. I've seen it all and done it all. I've just seen a lot of stuff. Um, I've, I've slowed down a lot now. COVID slowed me right down. But um, I've got to get, I'm itching to get back into the system again. And what I try to teach people is this one. It's a very interesting one. You'll like this one. The money is in the books, right, guys? If you remember that, the money's in the books. And to back that up, what I did, I told you guys earlier, um, I made $5,000 a week for approximately, I don't know, 30 or 40 odd years. And I've got a lot of background noise. I hope you can hear me. Um, anyway, it's distracting me. Um, so what happened, every week, I put 50 or or $100 inside of a book. And at my home, I have a home library back in Australia. There are two hundred thousand dollars worth of books, right? That's the value of the books. I've got no idea how much is in them because I put money in those books for over twenty years, and I left it there when I left Australia, and I'm never ever ever going back. And my two girls, who I try to encourage to read the old story, "The Apple Doesn't Fall Far from the Tree," they they fell about ten miles away because neither of them read books. Um, and they're not business minded, sadly. Um, that's just how it is. Um, so the money's in the books. And I know one day when I pass, I'll give those books, hopefully, to something like um, a men's home or Salvation Army or something like that. And all individual people will get, will get a, the ones who like to read, will get a very, very nice surprise. That's it for me, guys. Wow. Wow. Bye. That is really special. The money's in the books. So that, that was my legacy to. To the world oh. that's awesome absolutely Got your well i'm starting a library jeff if you'd like to send them my way i would love <laughs> yeah. to read you can always, you can always, santa you'll be you'll be down in australia in december you can pop in <laughs> yeah, I, I was just gonna say I, i'm i'm for that kind of money i'm up for a trip right <laughs> yeah what, what's the address again <laughs> Well done. Thank you, Jeff. Well done. Very clever. Very clever. Money's in the books, right? Yogish, what about you, my man? Hi, everyone. Uh, good question. How do I want to be remembered? The fact is, I don't really want to be remembered. I know everybody has this thing of, oh, I want to change the world. And when people look back, they'll be like, how did I make them feel and all? But the truth is, 50 to 100 years from today, all the people who know you or you know will be dead. So I don't really believe in being remembered. But yes, I do believe in doing the best while you're alive and let your life speak for itself. So that's that's all I my two cents on this. Let your life speak for itself. Hmm. I like that. I like that, Yogesh. Thank you for sharing very much indeed. Okay, Santa Claus, what do you want to be remembered for? Well, I've been thinking about this uh, since I saw the message and listening to everybody uh, and what their you know what and what their ideas and hopes and dreams and all of that um, and and their inner workings. Um, I think the the thing that I want to be that I would like to be remembered for is you know. We are all children, and sometimes we forget that we're children. And it's the children that we look at and we see, and we see the joy in their eyes and their faces when they meet one another, when they play with one another. There's nothing there that we, had, you know, that, that, that all of their 
all the barriers that we have up as adults um, to prevent us from living in a more harmonious world. You know, um, I would love to be remembered for reaching out and, you know, bringing the child back in all of us, every single one of us, drop all the barriers so we can live more harmonious with one another. Um, the cheer, the, you know, the sheer joy that we have when we're children, when we see things, the innocence that they have, that we perceive as their innocence in, in what the way they see the world. Um, I would love to see that come back again with everyone so that everyone can see that, that specialness within each and every one of us, you know, especially the, all of these special people here in this meeting, you know, there's a spark of joy in each and every one of you. And it. I would love to see that spark become a flame. You know, and have that flame spread beyond this room and out through the rest of the world. Oh, thank you, Santa. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, I agree, Lisa and Monica. They're clapping like mad. I better do the same. Well done. Well done indeed. <laughs> okay, Ashwin, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm uh, I'm driving, but I'm going to try. Uh, this is a good question. I like to re remember it as a kind person and impactful on lives of people and a helpful person basically you know so yeah and maybe i'll do what jeff is doing maybe i'll put some money in the books too that's a very good idea <laughs> <You know? laughs> can we have your address as well please <laughs> sure sure <laughs> and that and thanks for asking this question It's a very uh, self-reflecting question and makes us to improve ourselves even more on what we are doing right now uh if you want to be remembered afterwards you know thank you ashwin in fact you know one of the biggest challenges i have is come up with the topic each week because i don't want to just talk business i want to talk people and persons and personal development i think that's more important than business anyway yes. uh, thank you all thank you well, without personal development you can't have business that's true that's true patrick kern i didn't forget you what do you want to be remembered for? You know, I'm sitting here listening to all of you, and uh, all of it was fantastic. Well, how do I want to be remembered? Well, Jeff Bill put it the best. I do it my way, nobody else's. And uh, my nieces and nephew, they just tell me to take care of myself, enjoy life, and be happy. Put out positive vibes in life. Keep smiling. Keep smiling, everybody, because that's what it's all about. Put positivity in people's life when you meet them day in and day out. And I, I do that. It's better than what I used to do. I'm going to skew the language. I used to be a complete asshole at one time, but I changed. And my nieces and nephews has told me that you're very positive person uncle pat that's it because life is way too short my friends believe me i know out of seven of us i'm still friggin' here well said, i'm the last awesome. of my generation that's awesome. but also at the end of world war ii there was a there was a thing kilgore was here you had the little smiley yeah. face you know the little nose and the eyes and all that well patrick would be there's there's tire tracks over there bicycle tires I saw that. I saw the bicycle tracks over there. Pat Kern was here. <laughs> well said. And just, and uh, just traveling around the world on a bicycle. Hopefully, there you go. I get a dream chopper. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to help you with that, pal. Yeah, I know, brother. Thank I you. keep fighting for you, my man. And would everybody vote for Pat? By the way, could you put in a, a link in the? in the chat to say if everyone else can actually vote for you because i'd love to see you get that bike i will uh i'll see if i can put one in from my phone here okay i'll try <clears throat> otherwise otherwise do another post in the group when you're ready all righty okay Before thanks, we guys. Wrap up, sorry pat thanks yeah thank you all i'll be blessed to have a beautiful day thank you thank you very much before we wrap up, anyone else want to have one last comment on how you want to be remembered? Have I overlooked anybody? I hope I haven't. Goodness me.
I think you've How overlooked about you, Peter. You, Peter. Pardon? You've How overlooked about you? you. Oh, yeah, but I don't. Yeah, that's more, you're more important than I am. No, 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 no. Not no. To us. You're important to us. Yes. How I want to be remembered? Yes. I want to be remembered as the best dad and grandpa you could ever see. <laughs> very good. Oh, that's, that's, it. that's it. That's all I want. And a very good friend. Absolutely. Thank yes. Thank you. Anyway, I appreciate it. Thank you for asking, John. You naughty man. But thank you. <laughs> Anyone else before we go? Well, I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much, as always, for your contributions. I can't do it without you. I appreciate you all, and I love you all dearly. And to me, it's so very important that we get the chance to talk to each other in a way that makes us feel wanted, feel understood, and feel, feel accepted by other people. So for that, thank you very much for being you, okay? Take care. Best wishes. Um, see you Peter, next can you take care. save yes. the chat if anybody who wants the chat? Um, Alpha, I sent <clears> your <throat> message in the chat. I don't know if you saw it. So if you want to save the chat, then you can see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bye, everybody. Okay. Bye, take care, everybody. Bye, take everyone. Care. Okay. Keep shining, Bye. everyone. Keep shining. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Bye. Thanks, Bye. <laughs>